Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I did a real time get ready with me, which I haven't done one of these in like months and months and months. Um, honestly, when I started doing more fitness videos, I kind of forgot about these videos that I used to do all the time and you guys really liked them. So if this is your first time at my channel or watching these videos, hello, subscribe. But basically what these videos are, it's like me just getting ready in real time and then um, I speed the video up and as the video is sped up, I put a timer on it that is also sped up with the real time of the video. So I think it's sped up like eight times the normal time. So that's why the timer also goes really fast. But at the end of the video, it'll say like an hour and 15 minutes, which is the real time that took me to get ready, even though the video might only be like 12 minutes long. I hope that makes sense. So the reason why I created this series was because I used to get up so early for school when I was in like seventh and eighth grade, like 5 a.m. just to be able to like wake up early and do my makeup really pretty and like how I wanted and stuff. But I'd always feel like super weird getting up so early to do my makeup because I was like, I watch all these girls on YouTube and it doesn't take them this long to do their makeup, like am I doing something wrong? And I feel like no one ever really shared how long it really took them to do their makeup or to get ready in the morning. And especially with like your hair and stuff, I was like, am I just really slow at everything? But that's why I created this series so that you guys could see how long it takes me to get ready. And of course, different looks to take a different amount of time and yada yada yada, whatever. But yeah, so I showed you guys how I did this makeup look and this was like it's a pretty basic makeup look, but it was inspired by Kim Kardashian. I was watching, I've been watching the Kardashians like non-stop lately. And I'm still in an oversized t-shirt, like I haven't even gotten dressed yet. But um, this was inspired by Kim Kardashian because she was wearing this in an episode and it was just like a bronzy look that had like a sharper edge to it and I really liked it. And she also doesn't wear fake eyelashes. She only wears her um, eyelashes with mascara on them. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. So yeah, this is like Kim K inspired. It's not like a Kim Kardashian look but it was definitely inspired by her makeup. I think Makeup by Mario did it. And then um, I show you guys how I curl my hair. I've been playing around with a bunch of different ways of how I like to curl my hair. I like this. I don't think it really came out that great today. That's also why I'm like not too crazy about curling my hair because like some days it looks so good and then other days it just looks so bad and I'm like, with straight hair it always like looks good whenever I straighten it. So that's why I like my hair straight more. But with extensions, I don't like my hair straight. If you guys are new, like I said, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And without any further ado, let's get on with the video. So I'm starting off fresh face. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I have been using that moisturizer for the past year now, and I still have not run out of it. So I know it's a lot of money, but it is worth the investment because it lasts you forever. This is the Urban Decay One and Done Skin Perfector mixed with the Maybelline um, benefit, not benefit, why did I say Maybelline Benefit? Maybelline Dream Lumi, oh god, Maybelline Dream Cushion BB Cream, that's what it's called. And I introduced this combo a year ago on my channel, how weird is that? It's like it's a one year anniversary and I still love it, it's my favorite combo ever, I think it's so great. Alone, the Skin Perfector is a little patchy, but when you mix it with the um, Maybelline BB Cream, it becomes like super creamy and... I don't know, just beautiful. So, for this makeup look, I'm just using the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm using the two outer contour shades and I'm putting this into my crease and I'm really just buffing them up and blending them out. Then I take this compact from NARS and I think it's called like Isolate or something. And I put the lighter gold shade on my lid and then the darker shade on the outer corner. And then I pop a little bit of a lighter gold shade on the center of my lid to bring some light to my eyes. And then this is where I go in and carve out the eyeshadow with some concealer. This is MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I've been using this a ton lately and I've been loving it. Um, but yeah, I kind of went a little crazy with the highlighting because I was having fun. I was feeling myself. So I was doing a lot of highlight. Blending in with a beauty blender and the stippling brush that I used for my foundation, base, TM, BB cream, whatever we're going to call that. Use that. And then I baked. This is the RCMA No Color Powder. And I really went to town with the baking today. I feel like when I use this concealer, I like to bake a lot more um, because I feel like it kind of creases a little bit. But I don't know. I like it. Okay, then I go with the banana powder and I'm just going to sweep all that away. Um, I was in like the middle of a conversation. <laughs> so that's why it looks like I'm talking because I am. Um, and then after I use the yellow banana powder in the Anastasia Contour Kit, I just went in with a powder that matched my foundation bases. 
and uh, so that's my face. Then I just evened out the top and the bottom of my eyes to match and make it not top heavy. I did no liner. I've been loving the no liner lately. It's like my jam and I'm loving it. This is Nylon by MAC that I'm using to highlight my eyes, brow bone, all that good jazz. Um, Tartus Pro Glow Kit. The contour shade is my life lately. I've been using it, even though it's contour shade, I've been using it as a bronzer. I just love the tone of it. It is so gorgeous. I literally like drown my face in this. And then um, I zhuzh it up a little bit with the MAC blush in Worldly Wealth with a little bit of, um, oh God, Champagne Pop by Becca. I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm really sorry about my voice. I feel like my voice sounds really weird right now and I don't know why because I've been like talking all day. But it sounds like this is the first time I'm talking all day. But it's 6 o'clock at night and I, it's not. I don't know. I guess my voice is just tired from my spin classes or something. I don't know. I do scream in them a lot. Whatever. Filling in my eyebrows. Um, this is the Brow Wiz by Anastasia in the shade Taupe. And I don't know. Ever since I got my brows filled in or got my brows waxed, filling them in has been such a dream. Like, it's so easy. And now I see everyone gets their eyebrows waxed all the time. It makes everything easier. So I need to do that more. Now I'm going to go in and curl my eyelashes and apply just mascara on my top and lower lashes because Kim doesn't wear any falsies. She just does mascara. Well, she might wear falsies like individual ones, but I read in an interview a little while ago that she said she didn't wear thick eyelashes for a while. And Chloe doesn't either. I also knew that. But I mean, every, anything could change. I mean, now they might. So who knows? But I know a lot of the times she doesn't. She just has like amazing long eyelashes. So that's what I'm doing. Even though I have really short eyelashes, I'm just going to put them on the upper and lower. I also make that weird face all the time. Why am I doing that? This is Soar by MAC. Um, when I showed like that big package that I got from MAC, this was in it. And I was so excited because I've wanted this lip liner since Kylie Jenner said that she used it. And I never got it. But I really wanted to use it today. And then this is also Blankety by MAC. Um, and I love this shade. I never got it. I never had it until I got sent it. And um, I should have bought it a long time ago because it's gorgeous. Now I'm going to do my hair. So you guys can see it took me 38 minutes to do my makeup today. Which for me, I feel like that's like really good. <laughs> um, my hair... It's still a work in progress. I'm not really good at curling my hair. So um, you're just going to have to work with me here because it's really not that amazing. So first off, I just brush out my hair, separate it on both sides, brush it all out. And then I like to straighten the top of my hair because my hair gets really puffy, especially when I'm like working out and stuff. Um, it tends to get puffy. And also when it's blonde, it just frizzes up a little bit more. So I always straighten the top of my hair just to keep it all nice looking. It's a little secret. Like you don't have to do your whole head, just the top of your head. Then I'm going to curl my hair. The best way that I can explain this, this is what my hairdresser said to me, is just keep turning the wand or the barrel, the iron, whatever it is. And for a really long time, I was, I didn't know why I kept getting all these kinks in my hair, but I realized that I just had to turn the barrel a different way and I just had to go with the direction of the barrel. It's kind of like a feather. You don't want to go against the what's it called against the oh my god I feel like an idiot against the the grain you want to go with it for a feather yeah you want to go with it whatever so you just it's the same thing with hair you kind of have to like go with the way that the curling iron is going so for the pieces this is how I like to explain it for the pieces that I'm curling away from my face I put the clamp in front of the hair and then I cur curl it back for the pieces that the um hair is being curled towards my face I have the iron clamped backwards and then I curl it forward if that makes sense um, so yeah that's just like the best way that I can explain it when I do it like this it makes it look like I can do it really quick and I wish that's how it really was but honestly it takes me really long to do my hair like I'm really slow with curling my hair but I'm much quicker this way than I was in a fitness vlog a while ago when I FaceTime my friend and I was like how do I do this help me um, I feel like I like the way these curls look a little bit better and um, I don't know, I think the other ones are big, like Victoria's Secret curls, and these are more like beachy everyday curls. So I can do two different tutorials because it is two different ways of curling your hair, but I feel like this way is a little bit easier, like a beginner's guide to curl your hair because if I can do it, you can do it. But um, the other day I used a wand to curl my hair and it looked horrible, like it looked so bad. So I, don't, I think my wand days are over and I think I'm back in with the iron and the barrel because that's definitely the way to go. I just think it looks better. 
Um, also, I got my hair redone the other day. We have like a lot of time, so let's just chat. I got my hair done the other day, and I got it a little bit more rooted than I normally do, so it's more of like an ash root. And um, yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's pretty. So I'm just finishing up the curls on both sides of my head. I still have like a while to go, while to go, but I don't just want to play music because that's kind of boring. So I guess I can just talk. I don't have anything really to talk about though. Yep, that's me just curling it. And you can see like there I was turning the clamp backwards and then forwards and backwards and forwards just to go with like direct the direction of my hair. So yeah, okay. Oh, also after each layer I spray it with hairspray because I don't always like, I don't know. I just think it helps my hair hold a little bit better. The extensions hold curl really, really well, but my real hair kind of doesn't. So that just helps it hold it a little bit better. Almost done. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Also, curling the front piece of my hair is always weird because I don't like my hair super curly towards my face. Then, I just spray it with some hairspray and I finger comb it to loosen it up. And then I take a straightener and I straighten over the ends of my hair to make it a little bit more beachy and a little bit more natural looking and not so curled with a curling iron. And um, yeah, that's the look. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to watch my last real time here with me right here and my last video right here. Love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.